Ah. Uh. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you five, 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 five video editing tips you can use in Filmora 10 to speed up your workflow and also make more interesting video using this software. So these are the tips that I apply to all of my work in well when editing video using Filmora 10 and also the same in Filmora 9. Okay, let's go. Intro. Okay, so the first tip I want to give you is to setting up the review quality for the media. So you know that Filmora 10 has a media folder here. So when you run and drop video and images and audio, everything to this media folder, it is a library. So whenever you want to edit some video and want to before you drag and drop it to the timeline, you need to review it by double click at the video here. For example, I want to review this video and to see if if I want to uh, to use this clip for for my project or not so normally you could do like this uh, double click at the video all right so this is nice right but by the way uh, in some case when you shoot your video in higher resolution like 4k or 2.7k or stuff like that when you uh, play when you double click at the video it caused laggy issue and the program try to read the video and it become laggy and choppy and so so that you cannot review it it well and there's an option i normally do here uh, here is a preview quality so you have the preview quality for the timelines and now you have the preview quality for for your media okay to chat it normally we, you know, we can double click at the video to play it and then we can pause and then you can uh, select a preview quality here at this drop down menu so normally i will select this preview quality just half of the original uh, media okay so when you select half uh, at this clip and when you click on other clip or preview other clip the preview quality will become half okay for example i'm go i'm going to double click at this clip now the pre the preview quality here is only half so okay so that is the first tip okay and the next tip is also about the the original footage uh, about setting in point and out point for your clips in the media library inside Filmora 10 so you know that when you're editing video there are many long video clips like 2 minutes 10 um, 10 minutes or 20 minutes or maybe one hour but when you drag and drop it directly to the timeline uh, for example you can drag and drop it here and then you can find the position where you want to use the, uh, the clip and split it and delete the other but it will cause laggy issue because the program has to has to to work with that very long video and to avoid that that kind of issue you can set an in point and out point for your video right here for example this is a long video clips it is uh 3 19 19 minute but i want to use only a part of this clip so what i'm going to do here to play the the clip here yeah, for example this is this at this position i want to get uh, to set an in point for that so uh, it is very easy you can just press i on your keyboard and it will set an in point and out point for your video and now you can uh, use this slider you can click here and then drag it to this area you can see the duration of the clip the part that you want to use on your timeline also Okay, so that is the first way you can set an in point uh, and out point with your shortcut. Press I to set an in point and press O to set an out point. And uh, there's another way you can also click this button to set uh, in point and click this button to set an out point. Now you can drag and drop your clips onto the timeline. It will be just a short one, just a short like this. It is not uh, 19 minutes, but it is only one minute. And now you can also hit the render button. So to render this timeline, so it can, you can edit video smoother. Okay, so that is number two. 
and tip number three is about how to change the project setting when you you are editing your video because uh, as as you know that many beginners just start to, uh, start using the program by creating a new project and they are here and then they uh, then they find out that they want to make a video for Instagram or they want to make a, a portrait video or stuff like that so we we can change it uh, right here for example this is a a 16 by 9 aspect ratio be a project so we can easily change it to 9 by 16 okay to do that we can go to file and go to the project setting here now we can change the project aspect ratio for for example here i can change it change it to uh, 9 by 16 portrait mode and i can i can also select the resolution here if i want okay and the frame rate and everything else then i can click ok and now my video is at the center by the way you can crop uh, crop it to make a six, uh, 9 by 16 aspect ratio uh, video by go to crop here and then you can select the aspect ratio back to 9 by 16 and here is the crop area so this is a, a portrait video okay and you can click ok okay and now you can make it like less than six, uh, 60 seconds and upload it to youtube to make a short videos easy right so that is tip number three okay and tip number four i want to give you is about how to to set a free frame inside Fimura 10 uh, it is very easy because some of you ask me hey jackie how can i free a frame or how can i export a frame in Fimura 10 okay so there are two solutions for that the first one you can find the position you want to set a free frame here for example at this position i want to free this frame just right click at the video clip on the timeline like this and then you can select here or you can also or you can also use a uh, keyboard shortcut and f uh, on your uh, your keyboard to set a free frame then you can click it now you have uh, three parts in your video this is the first part and it is the second part with normal speed and this is a free frame part you can also extend extend the duration of the free frame by clicking this duration button and then you can change the free frame to 10 seconds or stuff like that and i'm going to click ok now the free frame change to 10 seconds and you can also click here and drag it to the left to shorten the free frame or uh, drag it to the right to extend the free frame now you have a free frame video like this this is a video and at this part is free So you see that? Okay, and that is the first solution to set uh, to create a free frame in Fimura 10. And there is another solution to take a snapshot, so you can play it here. For example, at this position, I want to set a free frame at this uh, at this part. All I need to do is to split the clip at this position. And the next thing I want to do is to take a screenshot. I can click this button to take a take a screenshot. Uh, up this frame and then I'm going to use that screenshot and put it on the timeline to create a free frame like this we can move here and then we can set a free frame at this uh, position and now we can just drag it here so this is another free frame effect in Fimura 10 very nice right Okay, so the last tip I want to show you is about how to overlay an image or video using Filmora 10. Because you know that when we create a video for YouTube or stuff like that, um, for many reasons, we need to add B-roll to make our in our clips uh, more interesting. Like add an image or add, add other video and, and stuff like that. So you can do it easily in Filmora 10. For example, if I want to overlay an image at this position, when I start talking about something, I can just... Uh, select the image uh, here is the screenshot I, I will use this one uh, just put it here on the top track and uh, Filmora 10 will create a new video track here so uh, we have this that is an image and we can also resize it for example because when you overlay a, v, uh, a image when you overlay an image on your video maybe sometime you want to see your face or stuff like that so you can resize it and put it right here and this is the overlay. Uh, this is how to overlay an image 
on your timeline on your video and that's nice right and you can also add video effect like borders and other other effect or changes and effect or, or, or stuff like that many things to your image here and you can do the same with video at this position for example if i talk about cooking about uh, some girls or stuff like that i can just drag and drop this video down here on the timeline and shorten it okay but remember when you overlay a video a video on your your main video track uh, pay attention to the audio inside here uh, normally we can mute the audio of the video by right click and select mute and now you have the clip here uh, at this position all right so that is enough for today's tutorial i hope it is helpful for you uh, as a beginner if you have any question let me know in the comment section below thank you very much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye bye